Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Roy Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix Black Myth Wokong is having an issue with audio or sound is not working, crackling or it is distorted and how we can fix it sir. The first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to select the right audio device that is very important. So to do this just go over here. Now from here you have to press two keys from the keyboard together that is Windows and G just press together so you'll be getting this option so go over here in the audio so you'll be getting this option so first one is all about over here as you can see under the mix there is an option called windows default output over here you can see you have to select the right audio device so in my case the device is speakers realtek r audio is what it is so i have to select the realtek r audio and i have scrolled down and as you can see there are many applications like steam make sure all these things the sound is maximized for example, for Google Chrome, everything should be done. So if the game is launched, you'll be having the game option here. At this time, you have to make sure that that is also maximized. Going to the voice, you also have to select the right audio device. Over here, as you can see, I'm having two. The, the, the Realtek R audio is my application, which means that is the right audio device. So I have to select this one and we have to close this. That is what we have to do as the first step. So once after done with this one, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to restart the game and also the PC. So just exit the Steam from here, go to the exit. Once exit is done, we just need to restart the PC as well. Once after the restart is done, just go back to the launch the Steam once again and we have to try launch the game and that will be working fine. So this even worked in most cases, so we can try this out. Next one is all about we have to set the sound sample rate to 48 or 44 kilohertz in the control panel so that is very important so we just need to go over here in the control panel search for the control panel over here now click on this one and we have to navigate to the control panel open the control panel go for hardware and sound now from here we have to navigate to sound now from here what we need to do is we just need to click on the sound and we have to select the speakers go to the properties go over here now from here we have to go to the advanced over here right now the first one we have to set this to 24 bit 4800 hertz that's very important and we have to set it and also apparently we have to make sure if the sp spatial sound is turned on we have to turn this off make sure the spatial sound is turned off just close everything and we have to close this as well and we have to go back and try launch the game this even worked for many users Apparently also you can disconnect all the controllers if it's already connected which means if the joystick is controller and you're trying to launch the game what I recommend you is you have to unplug I mean you have to unplug the joystick launch the game once the game is successfully launched just connect it back and try continue playing the game this is what you have to do and this even worked for many users next one is all about we have to uh, make sure that you have uh, uh, you know what you need to do is make sure the volume uh, is not muted which means we have to check just go over here and make sure the volume is set into maximum the volume is should be set into maximum over here and also we have to go over here just go over here in the search and navigate to the settings now from here we have to navigate to uh, sound this is go to the system first navigate to the sound now from here you have to select the correct speaker for the output that is Realtek R audio in my case. So you have to select your correct speaker. Just scroll down and navigate to the input and output as well. And also you have to navigate to over here in the devices you have to also make sure just keep scrolling down and go to the volume mixer. Over here you have to select everything for example for the system sound should be selected to the maximum, steam should be selected to the maximum. Same way if the game is launched you will be having the game here so set the sound to maximum that is very important. Once every set has been sound into maximum you have to check whether you are still having the issue or not. Last and the least step is all about we have to verify the game file which is a very important step. For many users when they verify game files you know it can even fix the issue for corrupted games even the audio controllers all these issue can be fixed. So just go over here and right click and go to the properties. Now from here go to uh, installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So that will going to take a little bit of time. So once the verification is done you can try launch the game and these steps any one of the steps will be working, working for you guys and if you find this uh, helpful don't forget to subscribe and if you have any suggestions like any new steps which we mix mix missed out you can let us know in the comment section. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.